up on here now to react to this is Thomas DiLorenzo. He is Loyola University economics professor and author of The Problem with Socialism and Hadley Heath Manning from the Independent Women's Forum. Thanks to both of you for joining us. Tom, let me start with you, because when you look at this situation, I mean, making the point that, yes, his pay is, you know, 1,400 times the median worker, but look at the shareholder value that he's created. How about just the jobs that he's created in transforming the company? How do you quantify that he had the foresight to buy the Star Wars franchise, which at the time people thought he was overpaying for, and it has transformed this company? What do you think of this conversation? Well, <clears throat> well, if he's increased the price of the stock from $24 to $134, he may well be uh, underpaid for that. And I think uh, the fact that he makes a lot of money does not mean that it comes out of the pockets of the workers. Uh, and uh, Mrs. Uh, Disney uh, said that he was addicted uh, to money or CEOs are addicted to money. Well, I should hope so, because the only way to, to get that money is to provide value to their customers and their consumers and the more the better, and that creates more job security for the workers, and that's, all, that's the sole source of the income of the workers uh, for Disney or any other corporation. And so uh, uh, otherwise, you'd have to think that the boards of directors are all either stupid or corrupt or both yeah. to pay him so much money if he's not worth it. Hadley, I mean, you know, it strikes me that especially when you look at this situation, the difference between socialism and capitalism is that one embraces and recognizes, you know, fundamental human nature that that human beings try to survive and they operate in their own self-interest in order to do so. With socialism, they count on people to perform because they want to share and do for others. And we've seen a lot of experiments like that 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 haven't worked out. Eventually, you know, those in power, they go for their own self-interest and start hoarding resources. What do you think? Well, the good news, right, the good the news is even on... Oh, sorry, Hadley, on, go on, ahead. That's, that's all right. Under, under a capitalist model, we're also free to share charitably, and, and we know that many Americans do that. So the difference between socialism and capitalism when it comes to sharing is that under capitalism, the sharing is voluntary, and under socialism, it is forced. And that can create a lot of ill will. It can really lead to an immoral system. It certainly takes freedom away from people to sort of direct their lives any way they'd like to go. But when it comes to the question of CEO pay, you know, I think we can can recognize that capitalism is not perfect and that there will be excesses. It's very difficult to say what a fair salary for a CEO is today when the job has been changing and certainly CEOs, a lot is expected of them. Yeah. And we know that it's very, it's very unique to the firm itself. As Deidre mentioned, these are performance-based jobs. We want executives to have the incentive um, to be sure that their firms perform well in the stock market, for example. But the bottom line is this is not a zero-sum game. Just because yeah. a CEO makes millions of dollars doesn't mean that the average worker makes less as a result. Tom made that point, too. I wish we had more time. We had breaking news. We'll have to do this again. Thanks to both of you.